Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a defense problem. You may recognize this hand. Last week, we talked about the bidding. This week, we're going to talk about the defense. I want you to take a moment and look at the auction. We're not going to get into it too much. Uh, the things that are important here for you are getting a sense of the shape of partner's hand. And when we look at the shape of partner's hand from the auction, we should assume that partner has at least five diamonds for their one diamond bid and at least four clubs for their two club bid. They could be longer in both suits, uh, but that is the minimum of what they have promised here. This is the auction as it happened at the table and not the auction that we suggested in the bidding video. But we're going to go ahead and go with this one. And partner's lead at the table was the ace of diamonds. Whenever dummy comes down, declarer should be taking a moment to look at the hand and plan the hand. And this is your opportunity to do so as well. You want to think about the auction, think about the information you have about the hidden hands, begin to build your picture. And you want to look at dummy and see how dummy interacts with your hand. Are there ways in which you have an advantage playing after dummy? Are there ways in which you have a disadvantage playing after dummies? So just on the surface, we can see that having the queen of spades behind the ace and the king is a good thing. And having the jack of clubs behind the queen of clubs is not a good thing. The other thing that's important to note is here, we can see nine spades, which means there are only four spades in the other two hands. Uh, they also have a better spot than we do, the nine. So these are all things to be aware of. We have a lot of information from the auction on the shape of the hand, and we're going to get into that a little bit more in just a moment. First, we're going to start with what are we going to play on this trick? I would play the 10 of diamonds. So the question here is, what is this signal? It's suit preference. Our primary signal is attitude. Our second signal that we go to when attitude is not needed is count. And our last signal that we go to is suit preference. I would say typically when partner leads an ace and there is a singleton and dummy, this is a good opportunity to bypass both attitude and count and move on to suit preference. When we're giving suit preference within a suit, in other words, in this case, a diamond has been led and we're giving suit preference with a diamond, we tend to exclude the trump suit. And so a high diamond would show the higher of the two remaining suits, which in this case would be spades, and a low diamond would show the lower of the two remaining suits, which in this case would be clubs. And a middle diamond would say, I don't really have a preference, maybe you should keep leading diamonds. So we're going to play high. After winning the ace of diamonds, our partner is now going to lead the two of spades. Declarer is going to play the three, and it is our turn to play. Now, before you touch your cards, take a moment and think about what's going on. So the first thing I want you to think about is, what does partner's two of spades tell us? This is a singleton. We have a lot of information that points at this. Uh, the first thing that we have is the auction. So we take a moment and we look at the auction here. Partner has at least nine cards in the ma minors, at least five diamonds, and at least four clubs, leaving them only four major suit cards. We know that they probably have three hearts. Now, it could be four hearts, it could be two hearts, but probably it's right around three, which leaves them with only one spade. If partner had three spades, that would mean that they had a singleton heart. And for partner to have a singleton heart, that would mean that West had seven hearts. Now, West could have seven hearts. But I don't think this is likely. And the thing that backs this up beyond our impression of what's going on in the heart suit is Declare's choice to play the three of spades. So before we get into that, I do want to finish up our thought with the two of spades. So we're very consistent in the cards that we lead. Leading a low card promises an honor or is a singleton. In this case, in order for the two to promise an honor, partner would have to have at least three spades with the jack. As we've discussed, this is highly unlikely. Partner can't have a doubleton spade because if partner had a doubleton spade, they would leave the top of the doubleton. The two is clearly not the top card. So it is far more likely than anything else that partner's two of spades is a singleton. Now, 
we are reinforced with this idea from the fact that Declarer has played low. Take a moment and visualize the spade suit. If partner does have three to the jack, how many does West have? One. If West has a singleton spade, why on earth would they play the three on this trick? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, if partner has a singleton spade, then what does West have? West has the jack, 10, 8. And now, although this is wrong, to be clear, I can see why Declare would play the 3, holding the jack, 10, 8, and seeing that partner has led a low card, theoretically promising an honor. This is a very poor choice by West. It is not a good play. Uh, however, it is what happened at the table, and when the opponents make a mistake, we need to capitalize that. We need to be on top of it. We need to be thinking about what's going on, engage our brains, and take advantage. So obviously we're going to win this trick. And now it's time to lead back. So thinking the partner has a singleton spade, probably leading a spade back is a good thing to do. It's not going to cost us a trick. Declare spades are already all good. So we're going to lead a spade back. Here's the million dollar question. Which spade are we going to lead back? We're going to lead the seven. When you lead something where you either strongly suspect or you are confident that a partner is trumping, you're giving a suit preference signal. Bridge is a partnership game. We have to work together. And part of working together is anticipating what partner's challenges and obstacles are going to be and how we can help partner out. In this particular case, we know that when we lead a spade for partner to trump and partner trumps, that the question on partner's mind is going to be, well, what am I going to lead next? That's a very common problem for partner to have when you lead something for them to trump. And you can help them out by being careful about what you lead. So in this case, when we lead a spade, which spade we lead is going to help answer this problem for partner. Well, partner obviously doesn't want to lead a trump because we're trying to maximize partner's trump. The idea here, and this is not true on this hand, but the idea here for partner is to find a way to get back to us so that we can lead the suit again so that they can trump again. Now, obviously, our hand is so weak, that's not going to work even though we can't really get back on lead and lead another spade for partner, which is unfortunate, but true, we still need to give partner information. And in particular, the information that we want to give partner is don't lead a club. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the seven of spades for partner to trump. Now, in this situation, as I said, we exclude the trump suit because it wouldn't make sense to lead trump when you're trying to get roughs. Uh, and that leaves us the other two suits. So partner doesn't have any spades. So we're asking partner either to lead a diamond or to lead a club. So if we play a high spade for partner to trump, we're asking partner to play the higher ranking of the two suits. And if we play a low spade, we're asking partner to play the lower ranking. And essentially what we're communicating here, because partner knows that we don't like diamonds, uh, is that we don't want partner to lead a club. We don't have any help in the club suit. So partner can make a decision from there. Do they want to lead Trump? Do they want to lead Diamonds? But they should know not to lead a club unless their clubs are solid, which looking at the queen, we know they aren't. So it is really important for us to communicate with partner that we absolutely cannot tolerate a club lead. And we can't. We are much closer to being able to tolerate a diamond lead. A diamond lead, even if it gives West a trick in diamonds, is not going to cost partner, whereas a club lead might cost. And we'll look at that in just a second. But for right now, we just need to give that information to partner. And, and you don't ever want to just play a card. You want to be specific about the information that you're giving. So in this case, we're playing the seven to indicate that we want a diamond back and partner should understand what's going on from there. Let's look at the hand. So in this hand, you can see that partner leading a club would actually cost 
the partner, our partnership, a club trick. Because if partner leads the king, Declara will play the ace and then win the queen. And if partner leads anything other than the king, Declara can simply win the trick with the queen. If partner leads the king of diamonds at this point, then partner will either score two heart tricks or they will score their club trick. Uh, there's no way for Declara to avoid that second trick. So if if Declara trumps in dummy and then leads a club to the ace, when partner wins the ace of hearts, they can cash the king of clubs. If Declara chooses to play hearts from dummy, then partner is going to win a trick with the queen of hearts. So either way we go here, as long as partner leads the king of diamonds, partner should be able to collect that additional trick. Whereas if partner leads a club, partner our partnership is going to lose out on that trick, and now Declara will be making three, which will not be a good result for us. So the two things I want you to remember here are when you are leading something that you know partner is trumping, anticipate their next question. What am I going to lead now? And give them suit preference. A high card will indicate a higher suit, and a low card will indicate a lower suit. When, the second thing I want you to remember, and this is equally important, is even if you have a very lousy hand and you can't take any more tricks and you have no high cards, you still need to give your partner information. You cannot turn your brain off. You have to be focused and you still have to give your partner important information, such as partner don't lead a club. Could partner figure out not to lead a club from the auction? I think so. I think that information is available. At the same time, if we tell partner to lead a club by playing a low spade, we're going to confuse partner. We don't want to give partner conflicting pieces of information. So we want to go ahead and just reinforce, hey, I don't have anything in clubs. And that way partner will lead something else and we'll be able to take enough tricks to hold the contract to two. And while not a great score because we shouldn't be in two hearts, uh, two hearts making two will still be a better score than two hearts making three. Thank you.